as it was his custom. Jesus went on the Mount of Olives to pray. For he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Spend some time alone with God. Hallelujah and God bless you so much. Thank you for tuning in again to Alone with God. I am your host Walter Chumesi and again we thank you all for subscribing, for liking the page, for telling a friend to tell a friend and we believe that these words are becoming now word in your life and they are bringing such revelation. We give God all the glory wherever you are, wherever you will ever listen to this word. I pray that it will be a now word because the Bible says that there is therefore now 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 god is a now god he does not live only in the past he lives in the present and he lives in the future he, he told uh, moses that i am that i am so as we spend some time alone with god i know he's meeting your need right now whatever the situation you may find yourself in believe uh, that our god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think uh, just if you want to um, send us a prayer request just or just write something in the comments may God bless you and thank you again for joining us and father we give you glory we give you all the honor you said that no one comes to you and live the same way they came uh, we have come with open arms let the ancient words uh, speak life let it bring transformation give us a hearing heart that we may hear give us uh, your humility spirit that we will obey your word and we give you all the glory in Jesus mighty name amen amen thank you again today is episode 3 and episode 3 our theme for today is hearing and obeying in the secret place hearing and obeying in the secret place you see your ability my ability all of us our ability to become everything that god wants us to be is in this mystery uh, if we can obey god if we can first hear god and if we can obey god it is very vital that you and I hear the voice of God, especially in these times that we live in. There are so many voices that are out there, but I pray to you and I pray to God that for you that you will always hear a now word from God. That is why in Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4, Moses commanded the people of Israel that hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. And verse 5, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Hallelujah. It is not enough to only hear that God is God and God is one. You have to obey. You have to love God with all your heart with all your soul and with all your strength today we are looking at something from mark chapter 9 mark chapter 9 i read mark chapter 9 verse 2 now after six days jesus took peter james and john and led them up on a high mountain you see jesus took peter james and john it wasn't a choice of Peter, James, and John. It was Jesus who had chose them because Jesus can use whoever, whenever, and however he pleases. But he picked these three and they climbed a mountain. 
you know mountains in the bible is always a form of stability it is always a, a symbol that shows that you know it, 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 something is what is not movable but jesus took the these three of his disciples and they went up on that mountain they climbed to a very um sacred and 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 secret place and the bible says that um they were there and while they were there on the mountains he was transfigured right before them see this is why we are doing these series alone with god once you climb on that mountain of prayer once you climb on that mountain of going into deeper uh, revelation of the word uh, the bible said that jesus was transfigured his clothes became shining exceedingly white like snow such as no laundry on earth can whiten uh, nothing on earth can describe this image of Christ as he came in the presence of his father see when you and I come in the presence of God and I repeat we become invisible and God become visible we see the true nature of God shining through us upon us around us and everything that we do so that people do not no longer see your infirmities are oh i believe and i pray that whatever you are going through as you spend time before god uh, may he renew your strength uh, may he transfigure your 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 body any ailment any any cell that is going astray we pray that may they come to subject and, uh, and, and under the authority of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, I pray that this will be a now word for somebody. And he said that, and Elijah appeared, and Elijah appeared to them with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Oh, it is good. <laughs> it is good for us to be here. It is good for you to spend time alone with God. Because in his presence, he shows you mysteries. Uh, he shows you revelation truth. Uh, he gives you unadulterated word of God. Uh, he gives you a rhema word that is particular to you because God is a God of particular. If he could name, he could create all the stars in the sky and cause them by name. Oh, he's an awesome God. Hallelujah. He said that not a single hair on your head falls down without what his knowledge. Not a single sparrow. His eye is on the sparrow. I believe that his eye is on you and his eye is on this world. And it doesn't matter what we are going through. Even in this COVID season, God is still on the throne. Hallelujah. And then Peter said, it is good for us to be here ah let us make three tabernacles one for you one for moses and one for elijah <laughs> i can only I, I i i'm thinking of that song that um um i think it's messing me i can only imagine uh, we can only imagine our reaction when we come face to face with our maker ah would 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 we bow our knees will we stand in awe we will we will we start talking like peter oh let us build three tabernacles ah, because he, he was just in awe and I, I i know and i have experienced moments uh, in worship service where the power of god is so great and and even sometimes when i'm here in my studio working on on music and and the power of god is so mighty it has become so real to you you're like oh lord i don't want you to leave i want you to what uh, stay here with me so i believe this was where peter was and he said a rabbi it is good that we came here and because he said let us build three tabernacles one for you one for moses and one for elijah because he did not know what to say oh sometimes even if you don't know what to say just be still just be still before your maker if you have done all there is to do and you're still facing defeat 
just be still know that the Lord your God will fight for you Moses said oh the Israelites and uh, the Egyptians that you see today you will see them no more just be still and see the salvation of the Lord uh. and verse 7 and a cloud came and overshadowed them and a voice came out of the cloud saying this is my beloved son this is my beloved son hear him suddenly when they looked around they saw no one anymore but only Jesus they had the encounter they saw Moses they saw Elijah there was a transfiguration but do you know that after all those experiences are uh, something that I don't want you to miss God was still pointing back to his son Jesus sometimes we go to church and we have that visitation and we stand in awe it's all good I pray for that encounter at my church every time we meet uh, because we want to feel the presence of God and we feel him and we experience him uh. but I love what God is showing us here in the scripture too after you have experienced God in your in your corporate churches uh, after you have you have done it all he said that everyone was left was gone and was left with Jesus alone the attention is always on Jesus it is always about Jesus it is always supposed to be focusing all glory and ascribing all honor unto Jesus so after all this only Jesus was left but this is where I want us to dwell the father said that this is my son hear him hear him we are saying hearing and what obeying hear O Israel the Lord your God is one see many of us we do not hear the word of God we do not hear the voice of God we are stuck in our own ideas uh, and sometimes in the ideas of men and women who are surrounded us uh, and we refuse uh, to position ourselves to hear from God if you can make it in this life if I can make a change in this life I need to hear from God I need to hear from the master and when I come before him uh, the Bible says that God who in some time past spoke to us through the prophets he has now on his still speaking through us to us and through us through his son Jesus Christ so if you want to hear from God it starts with your relationship with Jesus and it starts with him and you going into his word so he said that this is my beloved son hear him this is my beloved son hear him and I said it is not enough to only hear after you hear you have to obey the Bible says that in, in, in John chapter um, 2 when Jesus performed his, uh, his first uh, miracle I love this so much that I, I want to read that account to you now this is Jesus and he was invited in at, at a, 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 a wedding in Cana and and the Bible said that th there was there was there was an issue there was a problem this guy's this guy's wedding <laughs> there was an issue at the wedding his, his wine ran out and in those days the celebration will last for days and I believe this gentleman had prepared but still he ran out oh may I may I may I propose to you that sometimes you have prepared your life uh, sometimes you have you have other plans for your children and things just will turn around uh, some 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 wind will blow oh I want to assure you that if you believe uh, Jesus Christ uh, will be there on that on that boat with you uh, on on that on that chaos at the wedding and so on the third day in John chapter 2 the Bible said that there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding and when they had run out of wine 
Hmm. The mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Now wine has a lot of symbolical meaning. Wine can also represent the Holy Spirit. Wine can represent Mary. Wine can represent, you know, a joyous moment and so many things. But they had run out of wine. So that means there was a situation. There was a big problem going on at that time. Whatever was going to keep this uh, event going has run out. Jesus' mother said something. He said to Jesus, they have no wine. And Jesus said, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not come. Now, point number one, when we hear from God, our allegiance is first to God. When we are walking a surrounded life, when we are spending time alone with God, look at what Jesus said. He knew that his, this is his mother and we are going to get there. He's going to obey his mother. But his first, his allegiance is to God. He said that my hour has not what yet come. But I love this attitude of Mary, his mother. He said this to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. In other words, hear everything that is going to come out of his mouth and obey it. Because in your obeying the word of God, uh, you will see that miracle you have been praying for. In your obeying the word of God, you will come out of that addiction that is holding you back from your victory. You will come out from everything that, that is entangling you. Uh. The Bible says that now, today, if you hear his voice, Hebrews chapter 3 verse 15 do not harden your heart if Jesus is giving you a direction if God is speaking through his prophets through the, the man of God at your church through your pastor through my pastor through the leaders that you pray with if they are giving you godly counsel that is in line with the word of God do not harden your heart God, in God's economy, obeying his word is very, very important. We know that the life of Saul, the Bible says in 1 Samuel 15, we can read the whole account, but you know the story. The Lord sent Sam, uh, Saul to go and kill the Amalekites and destroy everything. Now, when Saul came, he brought the fattest cow and he said, oh, the king of Am Am Amalekai, oh, he's a nice looking man. Oh, 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 he hasn't done anything wrong with me. He brought him back. And then Samuel said, oh, to obey is better than sacrifice. Now, let me show you something. In biblical typology, the Amalekites is a type of the flesh. Now, when the people of Israel left um, Egypt, God will not deal with the flesh and the flesh will kill you if you don't get away from it. The Bible says that in God's presence, His presence, no flesh will have prevail. The Bible also says in Romans uh, that to be kindly minded is death. See, so Saul did not deal with the flesh. He did not hear and he did not obey. He did not deal with the flesh. So the flesh came back to hunt him. Uh, the Gibbonites wounded um, Saul. And it was an Amalekite whom Saul asked to kill him. Now, as if that was not enough, when you journey through the Bible, in the days of Nehemiah, you remember Sambalat and Tobiah. In the days of Esther, you remember Haman. Haman was an Amalekite. You see, what you don't deal with can come back and hunt you. But glory be to God that through His Son, every, every fleshy desires, every lust of the eye, every everything that holds us back uh, oh and i know paul kind or says not that we have arrived uh, but what forgetting the things that are behind us, uh, we look on to jesus the altar and the finisher of our faith and so 
the flesh came and hunted back um, Saul when he did not obey. So Mary told them that whatever he tells you to do, do it. Now there were six water pours of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews containing 20, uh, 20 or 30 gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, fill the water pours with water and they filled them up to the brim and he said to them again hear the directions jesus is talking here giving the directions and mary had already instructed them whatever he tells you to do obey him listen to him ma. so jesus asked them to fill the water pots with water does that make sense jesus i'm looking to get wine maybe jesus you are missing the point I just got married. I have to have a child. Oh, Jesus, you are missing the point. My, I, 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 my, my son is becoming a mother. Jesus, you are missing the point. My daughter is at the marriage of, of dying, just like Jairus came. Oh, Jesus, you are missing the point. I said, fill them with water. He said, he is the living water. And when they fill the jars with water, the Bible says, he said that draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. And they did it. Now when the master of the feast had tasted the water that has been made into wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who drew the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, every man at the beginning set out the good wine. When the guests have full drunk or when they are drunk, then they bring the inferior. But you have kept the good wine until now. If you will only hear the word of God, you will have the good wine. Oh, you will have the last wine. Oh, can I, can I, can I encourage you that we have the last wine? Because the Holy Spirit has been poured out to you and I now. And we do not know, walk in the old covenant, but we are in the new covenant. You see, these waters were used for purification. They were for rituals. They were for religiosities and stuff. But now, we come boldly to the throne room of grace. And we obtain mercy. And then the, the other day, there was a man called um, uh, Blind Bartimaeus, uh, he shouted, Oh, son of David, have mercy upon me. And the Bible said that Jesus said, Oh, bring him. And the same people who were shutting him down, they told him that, Oh, be of good cheer. He's calling you. He can turn water into wine. If only you will hear his voice. If only you will obey his word. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandments. It is not good enough to hear, but it is good to obey. You know the story in 2 Kings, Elisha, the man of God, made a prophecy. And he said, oh, tomorrow by this time, tomorrow by this time, oh, can I hear you declare that, that tomorrow by this time, I don't know what your situation is, but if you will hear the word of God and take it to heart, something will happen. So in, in, in 2 Kings chapter 7, then Elisha said, hear the word of the Lord. Here is the, here is the, here is the, 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 the command again. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of Adonai. Hear the word of the one who created it all. The one who brings everything and, and something out of nothing. The one who speaks and mountains are removed. The one who speaks and the waters are calmed. The one whom at the touch of the hem of his garment an issue of blood for 12 years that no doctor can ever deal with. I can't boast. He said that tomorrow about this time a seer of five flowers shall be sold for a shekel and two seers of barely a shekel at the gate of Samaria. Listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. So an officer on whose hand the king leaned answered the man and said, 
Mm. The man, or he answered the man of God and said, Look, if the Lord will open or make windows in the heaven, could this thing be? You are doubting what the Lord can do. He said that if the Lord should open the windows, can this be? Does, didn't he remember that he fed them manna from heaven? Didn't this guy know this story? How God fed them with quail? He doubted. If only you hear and obey. The songwriter has said, trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Paul and Silas the other day while they were doing the master's work they were put in jail for what? for doing something good for trusting and obeying sometimes you find yourself at a place in, in a predicament you didn't do anything you just find yourself there but I am here and I believe this word that if only you will hear the word of God and if you will spend time alone with him uh, and let these words become alive and living in you, uh, you wake up, you make a declaration that I am who the word of God says I am, uh, not what people have labeled me. Jabez stood up and said that, ah, my mommy gave birth to me and because she was in pain, she called me pain, but I will not be pain no more. It's so that you may bless me and that I will not be pain anymore and the Bible say and the Lord heeded to Jabez's prayer Jesus gave the 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 the, 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 the lepers who came to him in, in Luke chapter 17 verse 14 he said go and show yourself to the priest if only you believe this way and put your faith in Jesus and go and show yourself to your doctor that report can change uh, because our God has the final say. Ah, as you spend time alone with God in the secret place, He's gonna reveal Himself to you. But just like Peter and John and, 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 and the other disciple on the mount there, don't 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 be consumed with the experience and glory. In the end, still focus on Jesus and whatever He tells you to do do it and I believe that he will come to you I don't know what area in your life that it looks like the wine has dried out maybe in your marriage maybe with your child maybe with your education I believe that if you will spend some time alone with God in his way through prayers as Jesus and the disciples went on the mount I believe that God can turn things around and you'll be transfigured for the glory of God to be seen throughout the world. May God bless you. Jesus said that if you abide in me uh, and my words abide in you and you shall ask anything in my name, may God answer your prayer as you walk alone with God. Amen.